Hello everyone and welcome to the latest devlog from Love Monster. I'm Nate George, Creative Director, and in this episode I'd like to talk about the progress we've made in the past few months, as well as where we hope to take the project in the future. We'll talk about the Genesis systems, as well as the DNA and the new battle mechanics. Okay, let's get started with the DNA. DNA points are awarded when monsters level up. For every level, you'll generate one DNA point. This can be added to one of six categories, each having their own effect on the monster. The power DNA will increase the damage done by a monster's abilities. Health will increase your monster's total health. Speed will determine how fast a monster can act. A higher value in speed will allow players to attack more often. Strength increases damage done by a monster's physical attacks, while Dexterity boosts your monster's chance to score a critical hit, as well as boosting the critical damage for all abilities and physical attacks. Focus increases the rate at which a monster will regenerate their skill points. When players first load into the game, their monsters will be given a base level of DNA points. These are randomly distributed between the six stats and cannot be changed. The higher the rarity of the monster, the more base level DNA points you'll be given. Our goal here is to let players play the game their way. Will your monsters be incredibly powerful glass cannons? Or will they be super strong tanks? It's going to be the fun part of building these metas, especially in 2v2 and 3v3. That's one of the parts I'm most excited about. After the developers finished dialing in the DNA systems, it was time to work on the Genesis and the abilities. Both of these work harmoniously with the DNA system to give you that ultimate customization over your monster. In case you missed out previous explanations, the Genesis system refers to whichever element the monster is most in tune with. Things like fire, water, or dark matter. Each monster will start with one base Genesis, plus additional extras if you're lucky enough to own a rare or above. Each of these will allow monsters to harness the power of the corresponding element. We've tried incredibly hard to make the playstyle of each Genesis feel unique. For instance, fire is full of high damage, powerful fire attacks, while it's toxic, spreads plagues and goes for the slow and steady approach. So between DNA and Genesis, all that's left is to choose your abilities. With over 50 unique abilities already available, we have seen some crazy playstyles beginning to form on the alpha testing. Abilities can be learned from level up crates, quests, or purchased from the marketplace. Some lucky owners may even get abilities airdropped to them. This can generate real value for NFTs, as monsters with rare abilities become available onto the marketplace. Each ability will cost a set amount of skill points to use. Remember when I spoke about the focus um, reducing the time for skill point regeneration? Well, this is when it comes into play. And I think it's really important now we actually show you guys a portion of the game. We've been working incredibly hard on making the battle mechanics flow for the player and making it an enjoyable experience. First up, we have totally revamped the turn system. Monsters will now move along the bar at the bottom of the screen. Once they reach the right hand side, it is their turn to act. The speed at which they move is determined mainly by their speed DNA stat, but can also be influenced by status effects due to abilities. Once a monster is ready to act, players have a short period of time to decide which ability or to save their skill points and go for a basic attack. Remember, basic attacks can also be devastating, especially if a player has points in strength and accuracy. This turn-based combat system will continue until a player has no monsters left. It will then go to the experience, and if you've leveled up, you'll then get your loot chest. February is an exciting month for Love Monster. Not only is LMT being released, we're also releasing staking for both LMT and your Love Monster NFTs. The new dashboard is finally ready to be released. This will be packed with fun features, including a mini casino game that I know I can't wait to get stuck into. Lastly, for myself and the whole team, we'd like to say a massive thank you to all of the investors, testers in the community. You've been invaluable to the future of Love Monster and your support will help shape the game forever. And as a special thank you, I'd like to give away one of my NFTs from my personal collection. All you have to do is put a comment below saying your favorite Genesis. You can find information about all the Genesis and everything we've covered on the white paper. That will also be in the description. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you again soon.